Hey y'all, it's me, Brittany, mother of seven. Welcome back to Brittany Plus Seven. In today's video, y'all, we are gonna do an after school um cook and clean up. Um, the kitchen needs to be cleaned. I'll show y'all. Um, it's not terrible, but it does need to be cleaned up a little bit before I cook, and then I'm gonna cook and I'm gonna wash the dishes right away. And I'm going to show you what I'm cooking. I'm cooking um. I'm I'm cooking smothered chicken breast and rice and some type of mixed vegetable or some type of vegetable. I, I haven't even decided yet, but I know that's what I'm making for sure. So let me show y'all what we finna do. Okay, y'all, this is how it's looking. It's not too shabby, but it does need to be cleaned up. The dishes do need to be washed. Them need to be put away. So let's go.
Okay, y'all, as y'all can see, I just got done washing dishes. So, I'm finna get the grease started for dinner. Like I said, I'm making smothered, um, I'm making smothered chicken breast. So, since I'm making that, I need some grease. could have just put it in a pan on the stove and fried it but i'm not gonna lie i don't feel like doing that and i like it when it's in my um my fry daddy so this is a little fry daddy right here i like it fried in there it comes out better and it, it's faster to be honest it's a lot faster so I'm going to pour the grease in. When I get done with my chicken grease, y'all, I pour it in here. It was just enough. So I use it until it's too dark. <laughs> and I can't use it no more because we brush it too much to be throwing stuff away. Y'all, I'm just getting the bubbles out of here and I'm going to wash this out. Wash this sink out so I can wash my chicken breast and season them up. So this is just where I catch the extra remaining. I'm gonna spray this down with a little bit of bleach and wash it down real good. Wash it down real good. And um gonna wash out my chicken in here. Y'all, I know I have not posted a video in a few days. But y'all know what? I always say that. And then I go on a little hiatus or whatever. And then I post three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten videos. But y'all know what's so crazy. I do have videos to post. So what I got here. I got some chicken bread. They were buy one pack, get one pack free. So I usually use two packs of chicken. I usually use two packs of chicken any old way. So this right here was perfect. Just throwing this in here. Four come in a pack. And I'm going to wash this out so I can use it to um, put my flour in. So, yeah. So, yeah, like I was saying, I do got videos that I can post. This one right here came with five in here. So, it's like nine chicken breasts chicken breast so what i normally do is i'll show you how i do it so they only need one anyway everybody needs one because after it's done i'll show you the way i do it i normally do it so with this when you get that type of chicken it don't really have too much fat on it it might just have like this like one little piece and of course you're gonna take that off And I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this for the people in the back. I don't like, um, a lot of people be using vinegar and stuff to clean their meat. I really don't like using vinegar too much. I like to just use cold water. But you know, if that's what you like to do, that's what you like to do. See the chicken, it comes pretty much, pretty much together. 
Like I said, I don't like to use um I don't prefer to use that, but if that's what you like, use it. Me, I just use cold water. And go at it. Like I said, this chicken was pretty clean, so this is all that came on. Which is great. I'm finna um spray the sink back down with some dawn. Just because it was raw chicken in there. And I do clean up as I cook sometimes. Some days it's faster than other days, but today I wanted to do a video so I made sure I had time. But usually I do do my dishes as I go. I know I just got done using the dish. I just got done pouring out the dishwater. But uh, I'm going to make some more dishwater because, yeah, that dishwater was dirty anyway. So I'm going to put that here, put that there. So normally the way I do it, y'all, it's like an assembly line. Of course, the chicken goes first. The, um, the flour goes here and then the fryer here. So it's, it's really an assembly line. Cause you know, when you get to cooking, you just want to be like, sorry, I have to go get my season. You just want to be like, boop, boop, boop. I'm going to show y'all what I'm using in just a second. Okay. Y'all, I'm back. I'm going to open up this right here. This is brand new. Okay, y'all. So the seasonings I'm using is onion powder. I'm using black pepper. I'm using Creole. I'm using garlic powder. And I'm using accent. No, I do not measure. Yes, I season until I know when. I know when. <laughs> If you've been cooking, you know when enough is enough. Then again, we have my flour. It goes here. That should be enough. So here's the flour right here. The flour goes. You season your flour the same way you season your food. Well, I do. together and then we are going to wait on the um this is how it looks when it gets done we gonna wait on the grease to heat up and while the grease is heating up sorry y'all and when, while the grease is heating up, y'all, we are going to finish cleaning up the kitchen. Y'all, this going to be a longer little vlog, but I'm pretty sure y'all really don't care. I'm pretty sure y'all like longer vlogs. Um, yeah, so here's the rest of the kitchen. We're going to clean off the table.
Okay, I just took out the first batch of chicken. I don't cook it all the way through because I put it in the oven and I don't want them to dry out. So I just brown it. Okay, y'all, so I put my last batch in. This is done. I made some new clean dish water. Um, and I'm gonna finish cleaning up the kitchen. I'm gonna take these knives. I'm done with that. I'm not done with this fork. I'm gonna leave this out because I need this. Like I said, I was making gravy. So the gravy is done. Y'all, I'm gonna have to line the bottom of my pan with some aluminum foil because y'all already know I'm saying this now. I knew I need new pots and pans, but as of right now, we gonna work with what we got and this is what we got and we gonna make it work. So I normally just line it with some aluminum foil on the bottom. Aluminum foil and or parchment paper. But I ain't gonna lie, I don't know where the parchment paper is at is at, at the moment. So I'm just gonna line it. Y'all, that's the next thing I plan on doing. Dollar Tree don't even sell these no more. I want to some Dollar Tree. They got them for five dollars now. I'm just gonna wait till I can buy a really, really good set. Here is the chicken that I got done so far, and I'm gonna just put it over in here. And the kitchen is 75% done, y'all. I just need to um, put I just need to honestly sweep the floor and mop it. And I'm gonna make some mop water now because Ann had a boy take out the garbage. Make some mop water because I need to mop upstairs as well. Okay, y'all, so I got everything in here. I'm going to put the onions, the bell peppers, and the gravy on there. And I'm going to open up this can of cream of chicken and put it over into my food. Y'all, and then you just add your seasoning on top. to make it extra, extra good. Oh, my 